Hey everybody, Keith Hilson with the Trombone Shop at Schmidt Music here. So one of the things I do a lot of videos on, obviously, are about all of the instruments behind me. Accessories, you know, mutes, all of that. Um, but my only job is not actually running the trombone shop here. Beyond all of this, um, I am a teacher, I am a performer, and most importantly, I'm a trombonist, I'm a musician. And so I, of course, have spent and continue to spend a lot of time in my practicing, in continually trying to develop my abilities as a musician, as a trombonist. So as a part of our video series that I'm doing here, every so often I'm going to put out one of these videos talking about maybe some of the things I'm working on. Um, you know, different techniques, different things that I'm spending time on right now. So hopefully that maybe they'll be a little helpful to you. Even if you can take it one idea away, one little nugget of information, hopefully it'll be of help for you. Today I want to talk a little bit about warming up. For me, warming up is frankly the most important thing I do in the day, and it's been this way for a long time. I remember being in high school, 10th grade, going in, you know, 6.30 in the morning, you know, in band, before school's getting started, being in the band room practicing warming up. For me, it's such an important part of the day because it makes me feel like I'm getting ready for the day. But what warming up also does is it lets me continue to build in my abilities and what I'm doing. I really view it as kind of you know rebuilding my foundations every day and making sure that I'm not only ready for what I need to do for the day, whatever it might be, but that I'm continually, hopefully, growing in my abilities as a trombonist. The way that I try to approach every practice session, whether I'm warming up, whether I'm you know working on some etudes, some music for a gig, whatever it might be, is practicing with a purpose. In other words, what am I working on? What am I trying to accomplish with this particular section? And what that means is having a plan. What do I want to accomplish? How am I going to accomplish that? When it comes to warming up, there's a few different ideas I'm always thinking about. The first thing is building from the foundations. In other words, starting every day from the absolute, you know, most fundamental concepts of my playing and building up from there. So for a lot of us, number one fundamental concept that at least I know I need to work on is air. So every day I'm starting off with some breathing exercises. I am you know, starting off right away thinking about how I'm using my air because for me, how I use my air affects everything else I do. So after I feel like I've really got my air moving, then I think about sound. Okay, and so you know, I can work on my sound in a lot of different ways, but it's going to be long tones, it's going to be other exercises that really help me focus in on that idea of taking that air to quote, you know, the, the great Arnold Jacobs taking the wind, translating it into song, into sound, and trying to just you know, how efficiently and uh, how well can we do that. So, after I start thinking about sound, then I might start looking at expanding that air usage and expanding that sound into different ranges, moving into the lower register moving into the upper register, connecting those different ranges, moving into flexibility, how efficiently, how easily can I move between the different ranges, moving into different articulations, and then starting to get into more technical work, working on slide technique, working on you know scales, working on all of these other concepts. But the idea is building from the bottom up, thinking air, thinking sound, thinking connecting ranges, thinking articulation, and always building that way every day. Because I know every day what I'm trying to accomplish with my routine, what things I need to work on to make it me feel like I am prepared to you know, continue working on whatever I need to do to play whatever I need to play, it gives me some flexibility. So I am not, I specifically don't tie myself into a routine as far as what exercises I'm going to work on in every one of these concepts. So when I'm working on my air, there are different breathing exercises I do every day. When I'm working on my sound, um, uh, there are different long tone exercises, different things I do to change up the routine. I was at one point in my playing career, I had gotten so established in a set routine doing the same thing every day that I quit paying attention to what I was doing. I could go through a 45 minute warm up session and look back and literally have no idea what I accomplished. Now for a lot of other people, having that set routine every day is essential for them. For me, what's essential is having variety in that. And it's not so much, again, practicing the same exact exercises. For me, it's about the concepts. It's about the air, the sound, the range connection, the 
flexibility, their articulation, and once I know what concept I want to work on, I can have a lot more flexibility in how I work on that, which keeps me personally a lot more engaged in those exercises. And the really great thing again about this concept is that you can continue to alter and evolve your warm-up session or your practice session and you continue to bring in new and different ideas here. One of the best things that I try to do and I think is always so beneficial is to, you know, when we go out and see master classes, when we have the opportunity to take private lessons, when we're watching all of the other great videos that are out there from all of these fantastic trombonists, is looking at taking ideas and saying, hey, that concept looks really great. I didn't think about working on articulation like this. Maybe I can think about our, you know, um, intonation like that and trying to incorporate those ideas into what I'm doing. And it, it, it's always a flexible you know, concept where, where I can change up what I want to be working on, but for me, knowing that the, the concepts themselves, the fundamentals are always there. I always want to be working on my air. I always want to be working on my sound, on my flexibility, on my articulation, continually getting better in all these concepts, but knowing that there are different ways to do that so that I don't get stuck in a rut and I can hopefully find, okay, well, maybe this particular exercise isn't working so well in developing my flexibility, but hey, great, I just took this new one in and this is opening up new possibilities for me. To that end, one of the things that I'm going to be doing with some of these videos every so often is giving you some different ideas as far as, again, what I think about with, for example, you know, air usage, what I think about in terms of, you know, sound and how to, what do I work on to develop my sound, um, to work on flexibility, etc. So, you know, I'll give you hopefully some different ideas that you can use as we go along here, but then of course encourage you to go out and seek out all of these other ideas the pedagogy, the teaching, and all the resources we have today are just astonishing. We have more now than we've ever had before. And so of course we have to be a little choosy in that, but it gives us the opportunity to go out and find ideas, exercises, concepts, things that really resonate with us that are hopefully going to make all of us better, more efficient, more musical trombonists. So hopefully you'll enjoy some of these ideas as we go along here. If you have any ideas right away here, you like some of the, the thoughts that I had in this initial video, of course, please feel free to leave those below in the video. Uh, think about giving us a thumbs up, think about subscribing to the video, check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and look forward to some more of these videos as we go along here. Thanks as always for watching.